Hello, everyone, and welcome to our training today. Today, we're diving into the funding blueprint. We're going to talk about several big things. We're going to talk about how you can improve your fundability to get financing for your business, how to get a bunch of different funding from a lot of different places, and where to go to get it, and exactly the steps to build business credit for your EIN that's not like your social. We got a lot to go over, and my goal is to get this done all within an hour, so let's move. Uh, those that don't know me, my name is Ty Crandall. I'm CEO of Credit Suite. I'm also author of two of the best-selling books on consumer and commercial credit, business credit decoded and perfect credit. I won't talk a lot about myself today, but I will tell you that we have a lot of experience uh, in what I'm about to teach you. This isn't conceptual. This is actually what's working for our clients now. So, and Steve, thanks for coming in from Facebook and Chili Davis. Good afternoon from Facebook as well. So how to beat the banks and become fundable. That's what we're going to cover today. We're also going to cover how anyone can get business credit through EIN that's not linked to your social. Look, if you own a business entity, if you have an entity, you can build business credit. And I'll even show you today some of the basics of setting up your entity as well. How to get high limit revolving corporate credit cards. And what corporate credit means is it means no personal guarantee required, no uh, personal credit check required either. We're going to talk about how to do that, how to get this credit without a personal credit check or guarantee, how to access loans and credit lines, even when you think there's no way to get money, even in a recession, uh, we're still going to be jumping in and talking about that as well. And how to get money as a startup, how to get money as a nonprofit, how to get money to start a business how to get money to grow and expand a business. All of those things we'll be diving into. Miko from YouTube, thanks for coming in. Peter from Facebook, thanks for coming in. And James and Jim, thanks for coming in on our webinar today as well. We're on Dimeo, our webinar. We're also live on Periscope, YouTube, and Facebook. So thanks everybody for tuning in. So look, it's important before I jump in to, to explain, this is exactly what Credit Suite stands for because by the end of this training, you're gonna know a lot of things that I just went over. But I want you to know why we're doing this, why I'm out here uh, three times a week going live and we put so much information out there about these topics. We just think that anybody that has the courage to start a business should be able to get the capital to actually do so. Okay. We think that you should know exactly what it takes to get approved. We think it's stupid to go apply for a credit card and have no idea if you even meet the requirements that you should know the requirements before you even take the time to apply. So you're only applying for accounts you know you can get. We think that you should, we believe that you should know what lenders know about you. We're going to talk about this today. There's a lot of credit reports that these guys are accessing that you don't even know exist. And we're going to talk about that and decode that today because by knowing where they get their information, then you have the best chance of making sure that information is accurate, set up correctly so you can move forward. So for example, just today, we found information on a LexisNexis credit report months ago. We've corrected it and now we're going back in and getting approved for a Stripe account because they were getting information from LexisNexis that was unfavorable that we've now had fixed. That's the kind of thing you should be able to do as well. You should be able to access all funding in one place. You shouldn't have to go out and learn everything about business funding to be able to know one place to go to get what you need. You should have access to all the same business credit building actual techniques and blueprint that the big companies use. What I'm going to show you today is the same things that Dell and Apple and all these large companies do. It's just we don't have the blueprint. Small business owners don't have the blueprint. We believe you should have that. That's why we come out here and teach these things every day. And we also think you should be able to get the money you need when you need it and be able to get that money at the best terms. And everything I'm going to show you today is in line with these beliefs. Everything I'm going to show you today maps out the blueprint to be able to get the money you need to be able to accomplish all these things uh, and to be able to succeed with getting money to start and grow your business. So a lot of people tuning in here. Peter coming in. Uh, Chili, I already said that. Uh, Kat Jamu from uh, YouTube. Peter, hello from Facebook as well. And hello, Vaughn coming in from YouTube as well. A lot of people. Kent's coming here on our webinar. Ronaldo, hello. And hi from Caesar up in New York. So this training's for you. If you're looking for money to grow your business, that's what we're going to decode today. If you've been denied financing or don't even bother applying because you think you're going to get denied, we're going to decode that today too and how you can get approved. We're going to talk about the easiest and fastest ways to be able to get money, not just business credit. But we're going to talk about a lot of different ways you could do this. If you want to get your business to fund itself and you're sick and tired of personal guarantees and you're sick and tired of you personally being on the line for what you're actually doing to fund your business, we're going to actually teach you how to get that done today. And if you want the blueprint to get away from these guarantees, we're going to map that out. If you're looking to get the most money and figure out the best terms, like maybe you qualify for financing, but you're sick and tired of paying more than you should pay and higher interest rates. We're going to talk about how to get around all of that today as well. Look, what I'm not going to dive into today is get rich quick schemes. I'm not going to show you any shady ways like shelf corporations and buying business trade lines that the bureaus and the government hates 
and that you should never be doing. We're going to talk about the legitimate way to do all this. If you're trying to use those kind of shortcuts, that's not what we're going to be diving into. It's not what I believe in. If you expect money to fall from the sky without working, like if you don't, if you just want to be handed business credit, but you don't realize there's a process you're going to need to follow, that's not going to work, right? I'll map out the shortcuts to get you there quickly, but there's still going to be some work involved. And if you intend on getting money with no personal guarantee and then just not paying it back and defaulting, that, that's not what this is. I'm not into showing you all these techniques. You can go rack up a bunch of credit card debt that you're not liable for and then default, right? I'm doing this to teach legitimate businesses legitimately how to get money and give you a lot of options to be able to do so, so you can actually come in and start and grow successful operations. A little bit about us, uh, over 42,000 business owners we've helped with what I'm showing you today. It's not conceptual. Over 42,000 business owners in the last few years alone that we've helped with these techniques. Uh, best entrepreneurial companies in America in 2018 by Entrepreneur Magazine, A plus rated with the BBB, over hundreds, literally a positive reviews online, hundreds of actual results online. If you look at our website, we actually are contributors to Entrepreneur Magazine. And we were also 1,091 on the Inc. 5,000 last year. So one of the fastest 1,000 growing companies in the country, as well as being on radio shows, TV shows, Inc., Forbes featured in all those places. Well, I don't say this to brag. I just say this because like, we know what we're talking about. Like this isn't just some pie in the sky. This worked for me once and now I'm going to show you how it's done. This is something that's worked for tens of thousands of business owners and we've gained a pretty good reputation teaching exactly what I'm going to show you today. So if you are staying to the end, there's some things I want to award you with because we're going to be here for an hour. So I want to make sure that you're awarded and have something cool at the end of this if you're staying for the whole time. Uh, you can get a playback of this. on your. If you're on our webinar, you can get a playback of this, which is I think is priceless. If you're watching on Facebook and YouTube, you can watch this from the beginning there as well. But we're giving you a 30-day free business credit consultation, and that'll also get you business credit reports with Dun & Bradstreet, with Experian, and with Equifax at absolutely no cost cost. And then we're actually going to sit with you and talk about all the funding you can get, walk you through some business credit things, actually do a fundability assessment for you as well. All part of that consultation. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we wrap up today as well. So let's start with the problem. The problem is, is that it's tough to get money. We know that uh, nine out of 10 businesses ultimately fail in this country. Most of them uh, fail because of lack of access to cash flow. SBA score Inc. They all say that the number one or number two reason for business failure is that businesses need money and they can't get it. Bottom line. So what's happening right now, especially with a recession, is that business owners need money and are really struggling to be able to get it. So that's really the problem that we're here to try to solve this today. Most business owners are worried about this on a weekly basis. This is what keeps them up at night. And that's what we're trying to get past. So how do you succeed? Well, I can tell you, we've helped 42,000 business owners succeed because we found a formula that's three things specifically. First, you've got to understand what lenders and credit issuers are looking for. That's it, period. They have a secret formula they follow to determine if you should get approved or not. And what you probably don't know is that that formula is not based on your income. It's not based on your credit score. There's so many other factors that account for the vast majority of denials. And if you understand what they're looking for, you meet the criteria, you get approved. It's that simple. If you don't understand what they're looking for, well, you're just sending applications into, you know, cyberspace where you have no idea if you're going to get approved or not. You should know you meet the qualifications before you get approved. It's called fundability. We're going to break it down today. You should be able to build business credit for your EIM that's not linked to your social. First of all, it's a way to get money if you can't get money anywhere else. And the secondly, it really improves your fundability and helps you get the loans and credit lines. So not only can you get hundreds of thousands or even million dollars plus in this kind of business credit as our clients have done, but you're also opens up the doors to getting credit lines and loans. And you also need to know how to get all capital in one place. The problem is if you go online right now, you're going to look at one that's based on your revenue, one that's based on your credit. And they don't even tell you that on their website. You have to go through an entire application process just to figure that out. But by accessing all capital in one place, you can qualify for more funding, have a better chance of getting approved when you typically aren't able to get approved. Uh, so again, that's really the formula. It's fundability. It's building business credit. It's getting all financing in one place. I'm going to meet, map out and decode all three of them for you today. So let's start here with the beginning. And uh, AJ C. Brown says, is this live? Yes, it is, AJ. You actually may post to that comment at 106. And Reginald, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Kenya, thanks for coming in. And Bernard, thanks for coming in. 
Uh, and Richard says, I think your speaker is too aggressive and needs to use better choice of words when he speaks. Oh, that's thanks. Thanks for the recommendation, Richard. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you very much. Okay. Improve your fundability. And th that goes to show you, I read all comments. I'll go through them all. Even if it's not my favorite, that's okay. I like being aggressive. Have you ever applied for a credit card and gotten automated instant approval, right? Or uh, if you have or have it, then you get the alternative that you get that dreaded message that you'll hear by mail in seven to 10 days, right? So what this comes down to is this, okay, when you apply for a credit card, when you apply for a loan, you're typically, let's say use a credit card, for example, you either get one or two outcomes, you either get an immediate approval, or you get that dreaded message that you'll hear by mail in seven to 10 days, right? What happens in that moment is that you haven't met their requirement. They are meaning the computer that you're actually putting the application into. You put a credit card application in, it goes in, their algorithm actually underwrites that file and determines if you're going to get an immediate approval or it pushes it for what's called a manual review. And that's when you get that message you'll hear by mail in seven to 10 days because it goes to a manual review, then an underwriter manually reviews it and makes that decision. So this is happening because lenders and credit issuers have all these set pre-standards that you must meet to be able to get approved, okay? And how fundable your business is determines if you get those automated approvals or you don't. The bottom line is, is that if you set up your business the right way to become fundable, well, then you have a good chance of getting those automated approvals. That's my goal for you today. If you don't, well, then that's what actually gets you the manual underwriting. In a lot of cases, actually ends up getting you denied as well, okay? So that's why you've got to improve your fundability. you got to make sure your business is set up where it's fundable. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean, for example, that you need to set up the right kind of entity. You want to have a corporation. You want to use an LLC. You want to use uh, potentially a partnership, but you want to stay away from sole proprietors, you know, being a sole proprietor. You want to have a business phone number. Stay away from mobile phones and home phones on applications for credit and financing. You should have a business fax number. If they ask for a fax number on the application, you should have one. It makes you look less credible if you don't have that. If your phone number isn't listed in certain directories like 411, a lot of sources won't approve you. It's like a hidden check a lot of them have that you could be denied just because your company is not listed with 411. And there's other directories that they check as well. You need to use a business address or a virtual address. PO boxes are forbidden. US UPS addresses are forbidden. Home addresses will get you denied at sources like Walmart. And the types of licensing that you have is necessary as well. And the congruency of your records. So you've got to make sure that all of your information is congruent. One of the biggest reasons business owners get denied is because the information they put on their application doesn't match Secretary of State. And it doesn't match their website. It doesn't add to their Facebook page, or their Google business page. The reality is if you're running a responsible business, you need to make sure that all of your information is congruent on your bank statement, on your utility statement, your licensing, as well as everything online too. And this is probably one of the biggest reasons, if not the number one, that people will get denied. The type of references you have. For example, a lot of them are going to want to see a bank reference. They're going to want to see you have references from other trade vendors, and that ties into your ability to get approved. Whether you have a business about, account set up, how you manage your business bank account matters as well. There's a whole credit score we're going to talk about later called uh, the check systems credit score. You have a report and a score that just actually outlines how you manage your banking history and the way your website and your email address are set up as well. Those things, and if they actually are set up where you have a professional email like info at creditsuite.com or your website properly reflects what you do, these are just some of the fundability factors that lenders look at, including having important numbers like your EIN number or your BIN number from Experian. That's called a business identification number. There's one called your DUNS number from Dun & Bradstreet. It's a nine-digit number that's used worldwide to identify your business. So these are the kinds of things that lenders and credit issuers look at. And I'm just scratching the surface today. The reality is we found over 125 factors that we actually work through with our clients to make sure that your business is set up where it's fundable. So I'm just kind of giving you an overview of some of the things that you need to know, but this kind of gives you a deeper dive. And this is what we use to really make sure that fundability is set up correctly for our clients. Because if your fundability isn't set up, if you ignore things like here on the right, side of this, your LexisNexis credit report or your check systems credit report, or if, if things aren't in line, like if you're using a physical or virtual office, those affect your ability to get a, get approved. And you know what? Sometimes you might get approved for some credit cards. You might get approved for some loans, but then you're denied for other credit cards and you're denied for other loans. And it almost all comes down to fundability. I mean, the vast majority of applications are denied for this reason. It's not because you don't qualify. It's not because your credit has issues. It's not your revenue. They never even get to that. They don't even get to that because the computers pick up red flags in a lot of these areas 
and you're getting denied because you just look unestablished. That's the actual real problem. So fundability is really important. Getting your fundability in line is very important because even the slightest change to your fundability takes a denial and turns it into approval. But even if you are fundable, even if you've done these things, then you've got to keep in mind that lenders and credit issuers are getting all this other information about you on these secret credit reports because they're really trying to find potential fraud. Look, I don't know about you, but I'm inundated with fraud, right? I have people that send emails to people on our team that act like me, that try to get gift cards. I've tried to sell cars and got defrauded there. Everything we do now, everybody's trying to rip us off, right? Okay. I rent cars on Turo and Hyrie Card just the other day. I have somebody very close to me that rented a car on Hyrie Card. It got stolen. They got, they trashed it. They wrecked the car. They did drugs in it. It was insane. So there's all kinds of people that are doing all kinds of bad things. The problem is, can you imagine being a lender? Lenders are inundated with fraud. The vast majority of applications lenders get are deemed fraudulent, more than half of them. So while you're just trying to get financing or credit for your business, what you don't understand is the lender's number one concern is preventing fraud. And if anything looks like it's potential fraud, they deny the application. It's why congruency of your information is so important. So what they do is they get all these reports, they get all this information from you secretly behind the scenes, and they're comparing your application against this information. And there's a reason it's secret, because if they told you they were doing this, then you would go and do what I'm trying to teach you to do, right? You would go make sure you meet the requirements before you apply. And that's okay for you and I, because we're legitimately applying. But they're also afraid that the fraudsters are also going to get the same information and are going to try to even better have more information to defraud the system. It's what they're actually not, why they're not telling you this information. So LexisNexis is one of these. This is what I call the root of all evil. I don't mean anything bad about LexisNexis. They're actually phenomenal. But the real reality of LexisNexis is, is they're who's used by credit issuers and lenders. All this information that you have, and I'm going to show you later what's on your LexisNexis credit report. It's mind blowing what's on this report. Your whole life is there. So LexisNexis is a way for them to match information up on your business and you individually to be able to actually uh, make lending decisions. And I see a lot of denials because of stuff that's on LexisNexis. I also see a lot of worst case scenario of funding offers because of this as well. Meaning they could have got a lot better funding terms because LexisNexis is messed up. They either don't get approved or get way worse funding terms. Dun and Bradstreet, what's on your report with DMB, Experian and Equifax, the small business financial exchange. I've done a whole webinar on them. They are a secret agency that's a third party data aggregator that's owned by all banks. Wells Fargo, when you submit an application to Wells Fargo, did you know that that same information goes to the SBFE and then that's given to Bank of America and it's also given to Chase? That means when you apply at one bank, all other major banks see what's on that application. When you get a loan with one bank and you pay it, how you pay that loan is all shared with all the other big banks. It's an agreement they all have with each other, right? So here they are with these handshake deals behind our back, sharing our information. We don't even know what's happening. And then they're using this information to find discrepancies in your application. And then they're denying it because they think it's fraud. They think that since you supplied an application with Wells Fargo and said your income's 300,000 for your business, and then you apply one for Bank of America and you said it's $310,000, that they think that that discrepancy indicates fraud because who wouldn't know the revenue of their business, right? So this is how they're actually looking at and using this information. So even if your fundability is in line, then you still have to really be careful because there's all these credit reports that's actually coming in and that they're using to be able to make all kinds of decisions about you. And hello, Carolina. From, uh, uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Steve says, great stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, Jay Doe says, just got my yelling yesterday. I'm excited to learn how to get, get, begin the correct way. Good. We're going to map all that out for you today, including fundability. It's where to start. And the lack of a fax number makes you look less credible in 2020. It's kind of crazy. That's why most of them don't ask for it, Jay Doe. But I've yet to see applications denied because of fax numbers. But you have to keep in mind that if a lender's asking you for a fax number, only an unestablished business wouldn't have one. For us, our phone number is our fax number. It's an e-fax number. Almost a lot of companies are this way through Ring Central. It's just too easy to get. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about LexisNexis. LexisNexis is the most intrusive credit report you've ever probably not seen in your life. Okay. And the first time, just to give you an idea, my LexisNexis credit report is 300 pages long, 300 pages. Okay. It's literally the size of a book. 
And here's why. What's on your LexisNexis credit report includes every home you've ever owned, the value of the home, the sales prices of the home, the building materials of your home, the HOA association you're with, how many bedrooms, baths, the roofing materials, the AC units you have in your home, the deeds and mortgages, the title companies you closed at, the interest rates you've had, the loan amounts, the terms, the loan types, every phone number and email that's ever been associated with you in your entire life, all licenses that you have, including firearms, boating, mortgage, pilot, and violations on those licenses, every traffic ticket you've ever had, including felonies, misdemeanors, sex offender records, aliases, all name variations in your entire life are there, marriage and divorce records, every vehicle you've ever owned, including the VIN numbers are there, every insurance policy you've ever had, including the details of those insurance policies are there, every business you've ever been associated with, your family members, including your children's information is there, every loan and lease you've had, aircraft and bone owner records are there. Public records, including bankruptcies, judgments, lawsuits, and liens are there. Education information, including the degrees that you've had in your life, the schools you've attended, the dates you've attended, and whether you graduated or not, when you did graduate. Your military records, your online marketing records from sources you've registered to receive correspondence from, short-term credit offer requests, and I just ran out of room or I would have put more. That is a look at what's on your LexisNexis credit report. And if you don't know what's on this report, if you've never looked on this report, then what you have to realize is that lenders and credit issuers are using all of this information to do a comparison between uh, what's on the application and actually what's going on in real life. As a matter of fact, we partnered with LexisNexis and we actually now have a fundability report where if you're actually working with our team and calling our team and our numbers on the bottom of these slides, we can do a funding assessment for you using LexisNexis data. We actually pull a report we get the LexisNexis information, we compare it to the information you give us, and then we tell you all the discrepancies that are there. It's the same thing lenders and credit issuers are doing behind your back. We just help you do it right up front so you see the discrepancies and so you can make changes. One of the most common discrepancies here is name spelled, misspelling. Uh, and the other one, surprisingly, is NAICS. It's industry codes. It's people that don't know their industry code, and the industry that you're entering is different from what's on reports with LexisNexis. So this is why LexisNexis is important. you got to know what's being reported about you to have the best chance of getting approved for financing. And here's some of our clients, the samples. And I love this testimony, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, and from them, quote, we went to our bank to get a business line of credit, and they turned us down. We got started with Credit Suite, set up our business credibly, and got our business credit. After following the steps, we've now secured over $96,000 in business credit cards and just applied for the Platinum Amex and got approved instantly with no limit. Now we have four to five different companies call us every day trying to give us money, and that's a really good problem to have. We're excited, and if you don't have business credit yet, you should get involved with Credit Suite and have the same results we have. So look, the samples are awesome. I've now secured, I think, over a million dollars in total credit, opened up multiple businesses. Thelma actually had a business or a book released with Brian Tracy, amongst many other cool accomplishments. But why I show them as an example is they're a very interesting case. They tried to come in and apply and get, uh, get a business loan. They came to us because they got denied. We fixed one thing in their fundability. We found that the name on the application didn't match exactly with what was on their Secretary of State records. It happens all the time. As business owners, we set up Secretary of State, we forget about it. Then we apply and we don't realize what's on our application is different than what's on the Secretary of State records. It's one of the biggest, most common reasons that people get denied. So in this case, once that one thing was fixed, they turned around, they got approved for that loan and were able to get hundreds of thousands, now seven figures plus in business credit. It all came down to changing one thing in fundability. So again, when I tell you that there's over 125 fundability factors, it gives you an idea of why it's so important important that you really work on improving your fundability. And if you need help there, give us a call 877-600-2487. We have a free consultation. On our consultation, we'll do a fundability assessment for you. We'll see how fundable your business is. We'll see how your information compares to Secretary of State. We'll actually do a comparison with your LexisNexis information. We'll do this whole fundability deep dive to make sure your business is set up the right way. It's completely free. And our number's on the bottom of the slides, just so you know. Now, Steve says, how do we get a LexisNexis report? I want to see mine. Just type it into Google, free LexisNexis credit report. I thought we had a link on our site, but I don't think we do. Creditsuite.com forward slash LexisNexis. You can check there, but type in free LexisNexis credit report, Steve. What you're going to do is you're going to find a link where you can download a form from LexisNexis. You fill out the form, you mail it to LexisNexis, and then within 30 days, they send the report. By the way, Steve or anybody else listening, if you're a client of ours, we do all that with you, okay? That's part of our business credit building is to help you get both your check systems credit report and score, which actually shows your banking history history and it scores your banking history as well, how you manage your bank accounts. And we also help you get LexisNexis because these things are so important to your business. Now, Gene says, can you get business funding if you do have a business for home? You absolutely can, but some sources won't approve you. Some loans won't, you won't get 
approved for. Some credit sources you won't get approved for. So here's an example. Amazon will approve you with a home address. Walmart will not. You can't get a business credit, corporate credit card with Walmart when you have a home address. It's just the way that it is. So it gives you an example. Gene says, can you get business? Uh, or uh, James says, with all these records over 30 years will torpedo me personally. I thought using my business EIN instead of SSN and building a business credit profile. Well, that's the whole point is that by getting your LexisNexis credit report and cleaning it up, you can bypass all those things. And let me give you an example. We got an SBA loan and they actually wanted me to provide my home as collateral, which makes no sense because we have a million dollars in account receivables. We found out it's because of judgments that were on my LexisNexis credit report. It's what made me pull LexisNexis to begin with. And when I realized how intrusive this was, it's why we partnered with them to bring the information to you because it was insulting the stuff that they had that I didn't know they had. And the information was wrong. So I went through a process, cleaned up my LexisNexis by disputing it. And then I was able to turn around and start getting merchant accounts, bank accounts, that loan. They waived the stipulation for my home to be collateralized. It's like the whole world opened up once I realized the source they were getting their information from and I corrected it. So remember, if you're working with us directly at Credit Suite, this is what we do. We help you get your LexisNexis. We help you get your check systems credit report. We help you update those, dispute those. That's exactly what you need to be doing if you're working on your own as well. So some things to keep in mind. How do we set up a Dunn's number at Dunn and Bradstreet, you just simply go, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash Dunn's, okay, D-U-N-S, and then you're able to get a, a right there, a link to set up your Dunn and Bradstreet. And Sa Sadanya says, what if you have more than one business when you're signing up with you? Are you able to work with one? Yes. In our system, we will help you build businesses credit for as many businesses as you have. You can only enter one in the system, but you can follow our steps for multiple businesses. We also help, often help people with three to five different uh, different kinds of uh, different businesses, build business credit. Okay, so let's dive into business credit. If you have any question, just type in, and Trish just says, Ty, I have a question. That does not help me. So if you enter the question in, I'll make sure it gets addressed, okay? So build business credit for your EIM. When you get a home mortgage, when you get a car loan, when you get uh, a personal credit card, look, you know your consumer credit's being pulled, right? But when your business applies for credit or financing, it's also being pulled. Your commercial credit report's being pulled. But a lot of us don't know this and don't realize this. And we don't realize it because of a law called the FCRA. There's a law called the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the FCRA says somebody must have permissible purpose or basically your permission to pull your consumer credit report. I can't go pull your credit report without your permission. It's illegal. Can't do it. Okay, but there's no FCRA in the business world, which means I can go get your business credit report if I want it. I don't need your permission. So your prospects, your competitors, your clients, anybody can actually get that information. And credit issuers are looking at this information all the time, but the FCRA requires that people disclose if you got denied because of consumer credit, why you got denied, which bureau was pulled. That's not the case in the business world. So your credit is being used to determine if you should get approved, how much you should get approved for, the rates and terms you're going to pay. But lenders don't have to tell you that. They're not telling you that it's a factor because they're not required to by law. But you need to know it is a major factor in getting approved for loans and credit lines. Okay. And also you should know you could be issued a failing business credit score, even if you have no business credit. So here's an example of somebody that has a failing score of six out of a hundred showing this financial stability risk score literally depicts a bankruptcy, a risk of going bankrupt in the next 12 months. You're about a higher risk as you can get. You can see how high of a risk this is. And here's the interesting thing. This person has no credit on their business credit report. They're issued a failing score because they have no credit. But here's the good news. It only takes one account on your business credit reports to be able to turn that denial into a, or a bad score into a really good score. Here's somebody with a 96 IntelliScore, score, a 55 financial stability score, way better, right? Here we can see their low risk from high risk. We can also see they only have one account on their business credit reports. I'm going to tell you what this one account is and tell you how to get it here in a few minutes. So this is the problem with business credit is that you will not can be, you will be issued a failing credit report and score with Experian and with Equifax, even if you have no credit. The minute they know three things about you, they need to know your name, your address, and your industry code, your NAICS code. All three they can get from your Secretary of State. So when you file your annual report at the end of the year, that information goes to the Secretary of State. Then the bureaus pull that information. Experian and Equifax populates a credit report and gives you that failing credit score even when you have no credit. But the great news is I'm going to show you today how to start building business credit. Even with one account, you can take the negative uh, score and break, may raise it to positive. Here's an example of what this looks like. So, so you can see somebody had that same 28 score I just showed you. Now they jumped up all the way into the 90s and they only added one account on their business credit report. It just took one. So no credit 
can really be problematic. We see people with eight figure business, $10 million businesses that are failing to get loans and credit lines because they have bad business credit, but it's not bad at all. The reality is, is they have no credit, but they have bad scores because they have no credit. So this is something you really have to look out for. It's very important. Avon says, how can you get auto financing for your business? We'll talk about that too. There is a way to get auto financing without a personal guarantee and credit check. And I'm going to talk about that as well. Bernard says, what's the next steps once I get my EIN? One, build fundability. Next, I'm about to show you the exact steps to build business credit. Do you recommend SBFE and Paynet lines? I don't recommend any kind of trade lines because I'm about to show you how to do it the legitimate way. If the credit bureaus ever know that you bought business trade lines, they black flag and shut down your credit reports. That's actually what happens. And James says, I got that on the DMB report now. All other rating seem okay, but that score was failing. Look, different credit issuers report to different bureaus. So the reality is if you have a failing score with DMB and not with Experian, then different things are reported. Or if you have a different failing score with Experian and Equifax, you need to pull your report because chances are good that you might not have any credit reporting. That's actually why you're actually getting a failing score. So what can business credit do for you? A lot of different things. Okay. First of all, as you continue to grow, this is what happens. You see that first 28 score I showed you, right? The first one I ever pulled up with no credit. You see this credit limit recommendation of $1,000. This is the first thing that lenders and credit issuers see. It's really important. So if you want to get approved for the most amount of money, we got to raise that credit limit recommendation. But here, I showed you another credit report too from Experian. This one had a credit limit recommendation of two and a half times, $2,500. And they only had one account on their business credit report. So let me show you what the word gets really cool. Here's somebody that's $6,900 recommended in credit with two accounts on their business credit reports. Here's somebody with 15,600 recommendation of credit with three accounts on their business credit report. Here's somebody with $66,000 recommended in credit and they have four accounts, one, two, three, four on their business credit reports. And here's the epitome of what we all really want to accomplish. Somebody that's being recommended for $724,000 in credit with 15 accounts reported on their business credit reports. I just showed you one of the most important, important tips and tactics of building business credit that most people don't even know about. The number of trade lines you have or what are called payment experiences, the reporting of an account to the business reporting agency is what raises your recommendation of credit. So if you want to get higher approvals on credit cards and loans, I just showed you how to do it. You need to put more trade lines, more accounts on your business credit reports. And as you've seen through what, eight different reports we just looked at, the higher the trade lines you have, the higher the recommendation of credit you have. I've looked at tens of thousands of credit reports and seen exactly the same trending. So how do you do this? Well, First of all, you need to know that with business credit, you can get approved regardless of consumer credit quality. Even if your credit's bad on the personal side, I'm going to show you how to do this where they're not even looking at personal credit. They're only looking at your business credit. Okay. Second of all, you don't need to provide a personal guarantee. You don't need to provide personal liability. I've always said the problem with business owners, and I've stood on stages before. I stood on a stage once with like 300 people in the audience. I said, how many of you think your business will fail in the next 12 months? And nobody raised their hand. But the interesting thing is, is that 30% of them are going to fail, but nobody expects to. That's the problem with personal guarantees. And I've lived through two economic crashes, the mortgage crisis, crisis in 2008, and the current one that we're in, right? And I've learned the hard way that no matter how good of an entrepreneur you are, things come out of left field you don't expect, never saw coming, that can completely knock your feet out from underneath you. This is why you never want to personally be liable for any debt in your business. You don't have to be. Now, let me be straight, clear, and right up front so everybody knows. What I'm telling you is you can get very high limit credit cards without a personal guarantee and credit check. But for you to ever get a loan, without a personal guarantee is not easy to do. You'd have to build a ton of business credit to start getting loans without personal guarantees. You'd have to have loans on your credit report. Other people would have to see that you pay back high limit credit cards and high limit loans in order to ever get there. So you got a long way to get away from guarantees without with loans. But you can do what I'm about to show you with credit cards immediately, right now. You're going to be able to leave this webinar and do what I'm about to show you with credit cards. Loans take a long time. So we're going to start by getting you away from guarantees on credit cards. Loans are way in the distance once you have a really well-established credit report score. There's no inquiries on your personal credit report, which affects a large part of your FICO score. Okay, about 10% of your FICO score. Credit limits 10 to 100 times higher than consumer credit. I'm going to show you how to get twenty to $50,000 limit credit cards in 60 to 90 days. It sounds crazy, but business Business credit limits are way higher than consumer credit card limits because businesses spend more money than consumers do. It's why the limits are so high. And you can get credit quickly because the scores are based on your business credit history. So what happens here is that there's five aspects to the FICO score and it's a problem 
Because the issue is when you try to fix one aspect of consumer FICO, you hurt another. Let me give you an example. Let's say you don't have a good credit mix, which accounts for 10% of your score. You say, I need to raise my credit mix. So I need to go get a loan. Well, if you get a loan, that immediately lowers your score because utilization is 30% of your score. And the minute you get a loan, you owe what the loan amount is. So when you try to improve one aspect of consumer FICO, you damage another. It's why it takes us many years of well-disciplined borrowing to get 800 scores. Business world scores are primarily based on how you pay your bills. All I need to do for you is help you get credit that reports to the reporting agencies. All you need to do for yourself is use the credit and pay the bill as early as you can pay it, and that gets you good scores. And you can do this so quickly and get good scores that we can build a good foundation, we can build a profile, we can build scores, and then help you get money based on just that. And we're also separating reports of consumer and commercial credit. This is recommended by Score, Inc., everybody. Your business should have its own credit profile and stand on its own. That way it doesn't need your consumer credit. It's that simple. And it establishes your credibility. Like I said, lenders, suppliers, credit issuers, everybody can see this. So you need to make sure that you establish that business credibility to have the best chance of really getting approved because it controls your reputation. Now, here's some approvals from one of our clients, Christine, one of my favorite clients. I love her story because she went from a startup, one truck operation to last time we talked, she was buying a 50 truck operation uh, for a business and she used business credit to get there. Before I go there, let me jump in. I have a few questions. So I want to make sure I got those answers. James says, I have so far in 60 days, got five trade lines. That's awesome. Following uh, your guidelines and I'm seeing things begin to transform. As you said, it wouldn't tier one. Great, great job. So you can see from James that following the system absolutely does work. And um, James says, well, we have an agent that will work with them in the program. Yeah. And our system, our advisors hold your hand and walk you through the process. And we take about a two to half the three year process of your own. And we can visit to about six months. Um, and James says, I'll make the first point. Trisha says, I have an appointment with Bob tomorrow. Uh, it's a non-starter. I won't uh, waste your time. I'm a verifiable victim. Okay. Okay. So there are a lot of things going on there. Will you be able to, uh, to help me get, okay. So Trisha, you've got a pretty complicated question. You could definitely email me info at credit suite.com and we'll dive in and we'll talk a little bit more about your situation because that's pretty unique. And I don't want to disclose that in front of everybody. Obviously, Willie says, I followed your steps and got approved for Staples 2000 under my business name. Willie, thanks. Congratulations as well. Guys, what I'm showing you, a lot of people are going to chime in here in the webinar and live streams and say the same thing. I followed the system and it worked. It's not like I invented the system. <laughs> I did it, right? The reality is business credit, commercial credit has existed longer than consumer credit has. Okay. The first business credit reporting agency done in Bradstreet was around nearly a decade before the first consumer consumer credit reporting agency ever showed up. What I'm about to show you has existed for a long time, but here's the problem. The problem is it's big companies that know the information, not the small ones. All I'm doing is I found out what the big companies are doing in this exact formula for them to succeed. I'm just telling you what they've done. And it works again and again and again, as it has with 42,000 of our clients, because it, again, it's a proven system to be able to succeed. That's why you're going to see so many people chime in here and have had success. And Dasi from Facebook says, what's up? Okay. Uh, and that's all in Spanish. So outside of what's up, it's the only word that I even know, unfortunately, but it does not look good. It looks like, as a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, delete that comment because I don't even speak Spanish, but I know there's a lot of bad things in there that shouldn't be there. Okay. So let's back talk about Christine. These are all approvals without a personal guarantee and credit check. You can see how she starts with limits that are small. In my world, small is $5,000 and less. Her initial approvals are for up to 5,000. Then she jumps up to 10, 15,000 as we start to get to Office Depot, Sears, Shell, Apple, et cetera. Then she jumps up from 15, 20,000 up to 40,000 at Best Buy. Then she moved up to Dell, Pilot Flying J. Then she started to get even $185,000 with four individual credit lines for up to $300,000, all without a personal guarantee and credit check. And by the way, Here's some of her approvals, her credit reports, et cetera. But what's interesting about Christine, and as she says here, uh, if you follow Ty Crandall's program, you'll get what you need. Yeah, you're going to, because again, it's a proven system that works. I could show you a lot more credit she got with a guarantee. With this process, you can provide a guarantee or not. I'm going to show you how to do it without the guarantee, but a ton of credit. And you can get an idea here, even $150,000 individual credit lines that you're able to actually get approved for once you actually follow the system. So here's some example approvals so you can see what's possible and you know what we're talking about. These are, we start with starter vendors, Uline, Granger, Quill. Here's some uh, initial approvals to show you. 
that. Here's a Sam's Club MasterCard, for example. Shell, Texacon. Here's a Sitgo card for $8,500. Here's a BP card, JC Pennies. Okay. Then we get into a $4,500 gas card with Phillips 76 here. Here's a Lowe's account for four grand. Okay. So what you're seeing so far, there's a few tiers of business credit. I want to dive into them, but these are the kind of credit and the diversity of credit that you're able to get. You can get the Visa card. You can get the Amex, as you'll see. You can also get revolving store credit. You can get credit with vendors. This is all without a personal guarantee and credit check. Happy Dance. Here's a $10,000 Dell approval. Here's a Staples approval. Here's a $17,000 Amazon credit card with no personal guarantee. 17 grand at Amazon with no guarantee. Here's a $50,000 line of credit. Here's an Exxon Mobil account for three grand. Apple for six grand or Apple for 10 grand. Amazon for 6,000 right here. Here's a $50,000 Pilot Flying J, a Home Depot account. Here's another Fleet Premium, an Office Max, a Sunoco account. Okay. Here's a fuel card for 6,300 bucks. Here's Universal Fleet cards, Home Depot card. Here's a Chase Inc card for $15,000. Here's another gas card, 4,500 bucks. Another Phillips 76 account. Sam's Club. Here we go. Uh, 12,000, no PG, 30,000 MasterCard. Uh, and then I don't know, a couple other approvals looks like there as well. So it just gives you an idea of some of the credit that's available without the personal guarantee and credit check, Amex, Visa cards, MasterCards, auto financing, store credit at almost every major retailer. This is all available following the same system. So any and all business can qualify with what I'm about to show you. Startups, nonprofits, owners outside the US. Oh, uh, we're, it, it we're, this works if you have multiple businesses as well. We can help you with multiple businesses. Get approved even when you can't get any kind of loan. And here's why. I call this the 3C formula for cash, uh, for getting cash. Okay. If you want a loan, if you want a credit line, you need cash cash flow, credit, or collateral. You have to have one of those three things to get almost all kinds of loans and credit lines. And I talk about venture capital and crowdfunding and some other ways you don't need that, but almost all kinds of loans or credit lines need those three things. Business credit requires none of them. There's no credit check. There's no income verification. There's no collateral required. So it's the one way you can get money, even if you can't get almost any other kind of financing. That's one of the reasons it's so popular. And Jimmy says, is this a course or do you work with businesses individually? Jimmy, we work with courses individually or we're, we work with companies individually. We do have a great uh, startup course called How to Start and Grow a Business. It's our startup accelerator. It's phenomenal, cheap too, super cheap. Okay, so if you get with our team, we can help you with that. But when we help companies build business credit, we use our software and one-on-one -on -one advising to help you through the process to answer your question there. Philip says, you can get Amex without personal guarantee or personal credit check. You can, and we're going to talk about how to get to that stage here in just a minute. And Patrick says, will there be a replay of the webinar? If you stay to the end of this, then yes, we will give you an actual replay of the actual webinar. We'll send it to you through email. So here's our business credit matrix. Look, there's almost 200 factors that tie in to your ability to build business credit. And the reason I show you this is because it's really easy for me to sit here and show you a step-by-step -step formula to succeed with building business credit. It's really easy. But the problem is, is you can walk away with this and go, man, that was simple. This is easy to do. I don't want to mislead you. This isn't an easy process. We've mastered it because we've helped so many people do it. But this is all that we look at when we're building business credit for our clients. There's almost 200 factors that tie into your ability to get approved. And all of these things are the kind of things you really need to dive into. I'm just scratching the surface with what you need to do to be able to get through and do this quickly. Now, you've got to build business credit to get the highest approval and best terms on credit and financing and get the money you need when you actually need it. Here's one of our clients, Kylan. I believe in the business finance suite is the best step-by-step -step paint by number system to get securing anywhere from 50 to 250,000 of business credit that reports on your business credit reports and helps you separate your personal and business credit. What I like most is that you have access to actual coaches that will take you by the hand and walk you through the system and answer specific questions that you have related to your business. It's just an amazing opportunity for small business. I love Kylan. I love success stories like this because Kylan was a gym teacher and didn't want to be a gym teacher. And then he got out and he opened his own business and he helps businesses get capital. And he had a ton of success building up into a seven figure business from being a gym teacher, all because he discovered the power of business credit. So it's really, really, really powerful. Okay. So you've got to be able to access and, and let me talk about, and I don't think we're really going to talk a lot about the funding. So let me kind of dive in because in this, I haven't done a lot to actually map out the steps of building business credit and other training I have. So let me walk you through this process. A lot of questions have been asked about this. When we build business credit, a lot of people say, how do I do this from the ground up? Here's how it works. You start by improving your fundability. We started by talking about fundability. The next thing you do is you build initial business credit. You typically are going to do that with vendors. And vendors are places like Uline, Quill, Granger. 
strategic network solutions. Okay, those are some that will give you an example. And these guys sell products and services you need. Quill says over a million products. Okay, you're able to get approved when you even have some basic business credit established or your fundability is all online, for example. So you go to Quill, you put things in your cart, you go to checkout, they give you an option to invoice me. Once you choose the invoice me option, then they're either going to approve you or deny you. If you've done your fundability the right way, then you're going to get approved. If not, you're going to have to place a couple orders before they'll approve you for credit. Now they approve you for credit. You use the credit to buy the stuff that you just bought. They ship the stuff to you. You pay the bill as quickly as you can. What's going to happen now is that, first of all, you just eased your cash flow, right? Because you typically buy cash for that stuff. Now you used credit to buy the stuff. You don't have to pay that back for 30 days, 60 days. They usually offer net terms, net 30, net 60, for example. And then they report your payments to the business credit reporting agencies. Now, the minute that account hits your business credit reports, it becomes what we call a trade line. And when you're adding accounts to your business credit reports, it's called a payment experience, meaning you're getting credit with a credit issuer that reports to the business credit reporting agency. When that reports, you have a payment experience from that credit issuer. Okay. As you get more payment experiences, more tiers of credit become available. So the very first tier is to get vendor credit. You need five accounts to be able to move on to the next tier, which is called the retail credit tier. Okay. And if you go to retail credit, that's when you get Amazon and Sam's Club and Costco and Home Depot and Lowe's and, 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 and Staples and Office Depot and Macy's and Nordstrom and Apple and BP and Dell or Apple and HP and Dell, almost all major retailers offer corporate credit without a personal guarantee, without a personal credit check. When you have five vendors reporting, now you have an established credit profile. They report. Now you have a credit profile. Next, that will give you a credit score as a told you your credit score reflects how you pay. Now we have this strong foundation. It has trade lines reporting. Okay. Then it creates a credit profile. Now you have a credit score. Now we start building off of this foundation by getting retail credit, credited almost all major retailers. Now the retail credit, they're going to ask you for a, a, your social security number. And here's why, because in 2018, the government created a law that banks must identify you in order to actually accept an application. So credit like Staples and Office Depot is underwritten by banks. In that example, Citibank underwrites Home Depot and actual Staples, right? So in order to come in and get approved for a Staples credit card, you've got it. You're actually getting approved with a card that's underwritten by City. City has to identify you. So you have to provide your social for that identification. Here's the trick. You cannot apply and give them your social unless you've clarified that you're not authorizing a guarantee and not authorizing a credit check. Sometimes you have to fax the application in. Sometimes you have to call. Our clients assist every single one of these accounts. We say what it takes to get approved, the link to get approved, how to apply without the guarantee and credit check, et cetera. If you're doing this on your own, that's why it takes you two and a half years versus our clients six months. It's just the way that it is, right? So if you're going through, now what you're going to do is actually get retail credit same thing. You're not going to authorize them to do a credit check. What they're going to be forced to do then is they do what they do anyways. They pull your commercial credit report. Since you didn't give them your social or didn't give them permission to pull your personal credit, they don't pull your personal credit and they make the actual credit issuing decision based on your business credit quality. The system works every time if you have enough trade lines reporting to get that account. So for some example, like Staples requires 10 accounts in order to get approved, be reported on your business credit boards. Office Depot is a fraction of that, right? So you might have enough credit with five trade lines to get an Amazon credit card, but you don't yet have enough to get Walmart. So the more credit you get approved for, you pay your bills and reports, the more credit becomes available. When you have eight total accounts, you get to fleet credit tier, Citgo, Sunoco, Pilot Flying J, almost every fuel station offers fleet credit you can use for auto repairs, maintenance, and for actual fueling your vehicles. And then when you get to 14 accounts in your business credit reports, with, with one of those having a $10,000 high credit limit, that's where you get to Visa card. That's where you get to MasterCard. That's where you get to American Express. That's the whole outline of the process. And we have plenty of time or plenty of information on Facebook and YouTube that outline that more in depth, but that's the actual steps to build business credit, just so you know that. Um, when Jado says, "Haven't heard that. Uh, haven't uh, I have heard that having too much personal credit can hurt a consumer? Is it the same? Not true. It's not the same in the business world. 
And what you're saying is actually true because credit mix accounts for 10% of your overall credit score on the FICO side, on the consumer side, and having a, a messed up credit mix too much of one kind of credit can hurt you. That's not the same in the business world because again, your business credit scores are based on how you pay. And Jimmy says, do you help Canadian businesses? We only help US businesses, but we can help Canadians that do own US businesses. Okay. And uh, Brian says, didn't read aloud. It's that when the partner up with credit, so, uh, do not read out loud. Do you teach us all this when the, we partner up with credit suite? Yes, you do. So we, oh, uh, and I guess I, br 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 uh, I didn't read his name. So that's okay. Uh, yes, we do teach you all this as a credit suite partner. We do have a partner program where we put you in the business of offering business credit financing. All of this we go through these PowerPoints, everything I provide, all the resources I do on a regular basis are all available for our partners. Okay. And we did talk about this. There will be a replay. If you stay to the end, you'll get a playback of this. And Chris says, I went from 420 to 706 within six months. What's the best way to purchase a house? Not your guy. I'm not a consumer credit guy, but I would talk to a local mortgage broker. They can help you there. And Ivan says, question, because of COVID-19 and my business having been affected, my personal credit is, is all time low. Can you still help me with business credit? Yes. Because what we're doing here is once we've established an initial business credit profile and score, then we won't let the credit issuers pull our personal credit. We won't do that. First of all, vendors in step one won't even ask for your social. They're not even going to do a personal credit check. We use vendors to be able to build our initial credit profile and score. With that credit profile and score established, we refuse to let lender, other credit issuers pull our credit report. Then they pull our established business credit report and you're able to get approved. So no matter how bad your credit is, it doesn't matter on the consumer side because these credit issuers are never going to see it. They're only going to look at your established business credit. Now, you got to pay your business credit bills as agreed on time or early. That will establish your credit profile and score for the business. That will then be used to get you approved for your personal credit. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about funding as well, right? So you've got to have access to funding to grow your business. We all know that. The bottom line is, I don't care what you look at, if you don't have money, it's really tough to grow a business. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of studies that were done to the businesses that thrived post-2018 financial crisis. And what we found was that the one thing they all had in common, they had access to more cash than those that didn't. Bottom line, the businesses that thrived during 2008 crisis and are thriving today have access to money. Those that are failing don't. That's why it's really important. So you've got to have access to money that grow, to grow. But after 2008, they came out with a law called Dodd-Frank that tightened up lending. And as a result, all these what are called fintech lenders came around, these alternative lending sources that have 25% higher approvals than what we found in the consumer space. So the reality is there's more funding available ever than there's been. But the problem is a lot of people just don't know where to get it. Most lenders offer one type of funding in one program. And so if you go to on deck, for example, you don't know that they don't even offer a credit or collateral based funding. You could get all millions of funding, but you can't get it from them because they don't have programs you can actually qualify for. So it becomes really important that you actually know the sources to go through. And here, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Okay. So this is some of the many types of loans that are currently available right now. And so think about it. Think about a lender that only offers one on deck as an example, they offer one kind of loan revenue lending. Okay. So if you don't know that and you go to on deck, you're only qualifying for one program. But look at all of these other programs you could have qualified for if you would have applied with lenders that specialize in that kind of product. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Okay, let's say that's Lending Club. So maybe you find Lending Club and you say, I'm going to apply for a peer-to-peer -peer lending loan with Lending Club. Well, the problem is if you get denied, you only applied for one kind of funding program from one source. All of this other funding you might have got approved for and you didn't know about. This is what I call the cash access problem. There's no, uh, there's no limit to the amount of money available for you. The problem is, is you don't know where to go to get it. That's the issue is that you've got to have all this funding condensed into one place so you can go to one place and get it all. If you don't do this, you go to one place and you get one kind of funding. You get denied, you get frustrated, you think you're unlendable, but the reality is you went to one bank that did one of these. And you ignored all the other financing you could have got. That's why it's important you get all access to funding in one place. Because if you don't get access to all legitimate funding places sent in one place, you're not going to get the most money for your business and you're not going to get the best terms. Here's one of our clients, Somnath. He's actually one of my friends. My business is Dragon Gym, a martial arts studio that was founded in 1973 by my instructor, Diego, and took over by my partner and I 10 years ago. About a year and a half ago, my business partner and I decided within 18 months we were going to open our second location. We got connected with Credit Suite and we were able 
able to celebrate or accelerate our timeline and open this location in six months instead of 18. Getting the financing meant that we could start fulfilling our dream to have 10 or more locations across the country. Their dream is 10 locations. Let me explain to you what's happened. When we met Somnoth, 18 months was what they wanted to their second location. It's been less than two years, and now we've helped them get financing to open their second and third location. And when COVID-19 shut them all down temporarily, they used the same funding to take all of their lessons virtual. So now their business is blowing up. They now have a virtual present and virtual courses for people. Now they're appealing to people outside of the area, and they've opened multiple locations because we put together different kinds of funding to be able to get them approved. So how to improve fundability, get business credit for your IEN, access all these loans and credit lines in one place. I mean, this is the key is to be able to do all of these. Okay. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Uh, one user on Facebook says, Hey, Ty, can I run a business, business credit? Uh, can you run a, a, a business credit report live? Not today, but we do do that sometimes. Does utilization rate affect my business credit score? It doesn't. And how much does it cost for you to help? We'll talk about that in a couple minutes as well. Um, and I don't have any other questions, so I'm going to dive into this. So how do you do all this? How do you build your business credit, get fundability and get financing all in one place? Because what I showed you is pretty complicated today, unless you kind of have a blueprint to success to do so. Well, as an entrepreneur, you should be able to get the money you need when you need it, but not knowing the approval standards before you apply, not being able to get all funding in one place, not being able to build your business credit or from what we found, what holds you back. So I've given you a lot of information today to help you kind of navigate some of this on your own. But a lot of you don't want to navigate on your own. A lot of you are like me that have realized there's a faster path to success. And so I want to show you today is the faster path to success. And that's where we can maybe help you along the way. Okay, we have a program called our business finance suite, and it does all three of these for you. We walk through the fundability. We get your LexisNexis credit reports. We go through and make sure your business is set up the right way. We build your business credit with the help of our advisors and on and on and on. So all these things can get condensed from years to only months. So to give you an idea, you're getting 24-7 access to our finance suite. You can do this in English and or Spanish. Our business advisors and coaches walk you through every step of the process. We help you set up your business name, your entity, your EIN. We help you with your address and your toll-free number set up as well. We help you with set up with your fax number, your 411 listing. We help with your website and email setup. We help do an online lending compliance check to make sure that you're congruent online as you should be. We help with the setup of your bank account, your merchant account, getting set up with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian. We now help you get your LexisNexis and Check Systems credit report and dispute with all of them. We help you set up your Dun's number with DMB, your Ben number with Experian, dispute and fix inaccuracies on all three of your business credit reports. We actually have the largest supply of starter vendors, ones you'll never find in our group or online that help you get t-shirts and set up phone services and uh, get SEO and for your, your website and build a website, get marketing, all while building business credit. We have a huge selection of retail credit, fleet credit without a personal guarantee and credit check. You can get Visa cards, MasterCards, Amex type credit cards. You can get auto financing without a personal guarantee and credit check. Cash flow financing, even if you have credit issues, unsecured financing with 0% rates to start building business credit. Credit. Asset based lending with interest rates of 2% or less, SBA loans, term loans, all legitimate funding is in one place. And you have your own funding team that helps you through that process as well. Here's our funding matrix to show you the complexity of getting funding. There's over 250 factors that tie into it. Our team navigates that so you don't actually have to. Okay. And if you are interested in working with us, then we actually have some bonuses because you tuned in for the full hour. You'll get a 30 minute initial coaching call with our business advisor. 90 days of credit monitoring. If you go to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian, they're going to charge you $600 for that alone. You get it for free with us. And after that, we only charge you $24 a month for what the bureaus charge you $200 plus for a month. We just added Equifax. A 28-page valuation report to see how much your business is worth. One of my great friends, Mark Inson, came up with a $2,000 personal branding course that has 16 modules. They teach you everything about personal branding. I had him give me, give it to me for free. So you get the whole $2,000 branding course. We're throwing that in as well. And we use a really cool widget as well that condenses all of our online reviews to one. So we only need to manage our reviews in one place and Facebook and BBB and all of them all filter into that one place. So if you are interested in working with us, so this all makes sense and you're getting started by this Friday as part of this webinar, I'm giving you all of that as well. Okay. So to give you an idea, a ton of value, ton of bonuses, Okay, and this is what it is to get started with us. It's $24.97 or seven payments of $497. If that's too expensive, that's okay. Hang on for a second because it's typically going to take you 18 to 24 months to do this on your own. With us, 
We're getting people to the end of the business credit building process in only six months. So you have to ask yourself, how much could that extra 18 months cost you or help you when you get your money that much faster. And the reality is it's cheaper to work with us than do it on your own because you're going to pay for credit monitoring. You're going to pay for things like trying to set up your DUNS number and getting your four number for with 411 and valuations on your business. That stuff's free or discounted with our clients. So it's actually cheaper to work with us and faster to work with us than do this on your own. And we'll also work with you to ensure it's affordable. Sometimes I hear people say, man, this is too expensive for me. That's okay. We have programs that sh they're not even on our website. We've got programs where you don't even work with our advisors and it's way cheaper and we don't even advertise that on our website. So if you need affordable payments or you do want cheaper alternatives, all you have to do is give us a call. And we'll make sure that this can actually work. If you like it and you want to work with us, we'll make it affordable and make sure you can. We'll customize payments for you. We also work with services that help you fund or finance the actual amount to help you get started. And don't forget, we offer all kinds of loans and credit lines. We even help a lot of our clients get the money they need to buy. And again, we have a lot of off-site programs that can help you through this process as well. Um, as well as that, if you are interested, uh, again, as I mentioned, a lot of really cool things that you're able to get. And don't forget, we have a partner program as well. Our partner program is more, I haven't talked about it a lot during this webinar, but with our partner program, we give you basically basically the equivalent of a franchise in a box a business in a box, an entire franchise. Uh, and you can get it for less than basically $5,000. And so if you want to offer business credit financing and want to get into that world, we help you with that. And you still get all of this. Everything's set up with the reporting agencies, LexisNexis, check systems, credit reports, setting up all of your business fundability, accessing all funding in one place, your own finance team that helps you, business advisors and coaches that help you through the entire process, being able to navigate all this in English and Spanish. And then don't forget our bonuses as well, the coaching call, the 90 minutes of monitoring, the DMB Experian monitoring after that, and Equifax now for 24 bucks, business evaluations, the personal branding course, which is worth two grand alone, and multiple web widgets on one website. So kind of give you an idea. And again, we make it as affordable to get started as low as 497. If that doesn't work, we'll work with you on more affordable payments as well. My goal is to offer you a ton of training today, which I hope that you, you did get. And I, I hope that you got a lot of value, but my job is also to offer you a shortcut because I believe in business. It's either time or money. You decide what's more important in my world. I understand the value of time. I want to get quick results. So I just showed you a way to get, you know, two years of what you'll do on your own building business credit condensed down to only six months. And nobody's going to help you with funding ability. You can look online. All you'll find is us because that's what we do. We're the ones that have decoded and specialized in fundability. We integrate with places like these reporting agencies that are used on the back end, help you get reports, help you compare side by side what's on your application and what's actually wrong that needs to be fixed. Nobody else does that. We're the only ones that do fundability. And we're one of maybe less than five sources that work with all funding and condense them into one place. We're actually one of three now because two of those didn't make it through the recession because they focused on high price money. Well, we offer a lot of stuff as low as one or 2% interest. So again, we help you build your fundability. We help you build business credit. We help you get finance and we help you do that all in one place. So I'm going to hang out here and I'm going to answer questions. And while I'm answering questions, I am going to go ahead and fire it up. And I want to just give you an insight. I want to give you kind of a look at our our back office and what it looks like to build business credit with us, just so you can see the simplicity of what the process actually is working with us to build business credit versus go at this on your own. Okay. So, um, let me see, uh, beads business credit yesterday, Marie, we can help with that. Uh, give us a call. Here's our number. If you want to get started, if you want more information, if you want to use your free consultation, by the way, I told you, I would tell you how to do that. If you're giving us a call at 877-600-247, you're entitled to a free consultation with us. We'll do a fundability assessment to see how fundable your business is. We'll actually give you tips and tactics to build your business credit. We'll do a free check with Experian and Equifax to see if you had that failing score, yes or no. And we'll do a free check to see if you're set up with DMB and you don't know that you are. If you do so if you are set up, if you do have reports, we'll help you get those credit reports for free for 30 days, DMB, Equifax, and Experian. And then we'll also talk to you about all the funding you can get uh, and qualify for right now. That's all for free on a consultation with us, 877-600-2487. So feel free to give us a ring. And you can also talk to us about getting all the bonuses from this webinar as well. Um, so uh, all of this for $497 a month. It's $497 a month, uh, $2497. If you look at our website, it's actually about three grand. We're giving you a 20% discount as part of this webinar for one payment of $2497 or seven payments of $497. If the payments are too much, again, we'll work with you and 
customize payments for you. And uh, Rachel says, is this good for someone starting from scratch? Great question. We work with two kinds of clients, business startups. And surprisingly, we work with a lot of established businesses, but even eight figure plus businesses. And here's why. If you're just starting your business, we map you through how to do it the right way, how to set up your entity the right way, your address, your phone number, your website, your email. We help you do it all the right way the first time. If you're already in business, that's okay. We've got to go through. You'll move quicker if you're already established, but we got to go through and make sure that all those things are set up the right way, which is exactly what we will do. Okay. Um, and Brian says, as a partner, is all this branded to my company? It's your choice. If you want it to be what's called white label, we can do all this. Our system is available in white label. And a lot of people choose to use our name because we're the most well-known in the business credit industry. So to answer your question, Brian, we do that. We do it both ways. And Jade says, hey, Ty, do you have these webinars for people that are selling the BCB through Credit Suite? We do. In your back office, you actually have a webinar that sells the entire system for you. Uh, and that's something uh, along uh, with many other things that are available uh, to our actors actual clients that are building business credit. Here's a look at I promised you. Okay. Here's, and this is, I'm having some internet issues today. So hopefully this is all played out. I got all kinds of things. Okay. So you can see that this is our step-by-step -step process for building business credit. And I won't walk you through all the steps. I can tell you that we build your fundability here. We help you get set up with the reporting agencies here in step two. Then we heart, heart start helping you get vendor accounts in step three. Then we help you get credit monitoring for your business, saving 90%. Then we come in and we help you get credit at pretty much every major retailer you could think about, as you can see here. So almost all retailers offer corporate credit in our system. All of our clients have access to each one. But here's what's cool. Every one of our sources, we tell you the terms they offer who they report to. We tell you the actual cost if there is a cost to getting started. We have relationships with the underwriter. So we tell you the actual underwriting qualifications for every source. Like I said, you shouldn't apply for a credit card you don't know you're going to get. With our system, you know you're going to get because we map out the actual qualifications. We tell you where they report because if you want to build business credit quickly, you want to get payment experiences really fast. Well, the reporting of a credit card to one reporting agency is one payment experience, but the reporting of a credit card to multiple reporting agencies is multiple payment experiences. So one of the ways that we help our clients go from three years of this process to six months is that we show you all the ones that give you multiple payment experiences to help you go through the process quickly. We give you the backlinks to apply, as you can see here. We give you the actual terms that are offered, et cetera, et cetera. And we do this for every single retail source. So you're able to come in here and you're able to get credit at almost every major retailer. You're able to get credit with a Visa card, MasterCards, et cetera, any of the kind of crash cash credit that's available as well. And you're able to get a lot, almost all of this without a personal guarantee and credit check. Don't get me wrong. If you want to move fa even faster and provide a personal guarantee, well, then we've got a lot of credit sources that we'll actually put right here that become available for you to you to actually be able to get credit with a, without or with a personal guarantee if you're willing to provide a guarantee. That's your choice. But you can see here Visa cards, MasterCards, fleet credit cards, auto financing, places like Toyota, Dell, they all offer this credit without personal guarantees and credit checks. And all of that's available. We even have non-reporting trade lines too. Because look, places like Apple, pay places like Pilot Flying J that used to report but that don't report, they all offer business credit. And so all these accounts that are available that don't even report, American Express, a lot of these, we have all of them in the back office to make it really easy for you to get approved. All of them have the terms, where they, re where they report. Obviously, these don't report everything you need to actually get approved. So I think you get an idea of just why our clients are successful at doing this so quickly and why so many others take years. We actually tell you in green here, okay, who you can get approved for and who you can't. We map it out in tiers to tell you the actual tier, and this is these are non-reported accounts, to tell you the actual tier of credit to apply for in what order, okay? So we go through a lot to be able to tier out step-by-step -step how to build business credit so you know the credit you can get in every tier. We also come through and tell you how many accounts you actually need to get approved for credit in that tier. We gray out the ones you can't get approved for and put learn more, and then we actually put the ones you can apply apply for in green. There was about four things we do to specifically tell you the credit to apply for in the right order. So there's no guessing. You're not trying to figure this out on your own. You have it, uh, the blueprint where everything's actually mapped out.
out for you so you can actually uh, succeed without taking with taking all the guessing out of the equation. Okay, so I want to make sure that all your questions are answered. Uh, what if you have multiple businesses, Philip? What I've showed you today, you can enter one company's information through our system, but a lot of our clients will do the same thing for multiple businesses. They get to the step, they execute the step with each one of their businesses, and we will help you through that process even if you have multiple uh, clients as well. And um, Bob says, uh, to not have, uh, if you would like to get in touch with us, and it sounds like Fabo uh, from YouTube does, just email us, info at creditsuite.com. If you email us or give us a call, we're always going to answer. And or, or if not, we'll always get back to you. And I do a webinar like this. I literally have, uh, I don't know, uh, we'll have uh, 2,500 to 3,000 people will view this today. So that being said, we're a little bit overwhelmed. If we ever are, are don't answer a call, then all you have to do is just leave a message and we'll call you back. Okay. Um, and one and Facebook user doesn't have a name says we're in the program. Can we use the services for other businesses? You can, uh, we have a partner program so we can easily upgrade you. It's not very much more to our partner program and you can offer our service to your customers as well. Okay. Um, Ty, do you have, uh, and Gene says I signed up as an affiliate and have a question to join the Facebook group. Uh, you will, if you have our Facebook group and you send a request, you understand we get literally sometimes a hundred to 200 requests per day. And they do go through those about every 48 hours. So you will be accepted into the group. Uh, you can get funding for me to partner, to offer business credit. Yes, we can. We have a lot of funding options, whether you qualify or not, I don't know. But if you give us a ring 877-600-2487, we will talk to you more about that as well. And Patrick says, also, did I hear that you can assist with helping funding a startup? We have a lot of funding for a startup. We even have a course called the Startup Accelerator that helps startups really accelerate your business credit building. And it's like less than a few hundred bucks. It's super cheap. And it's like a it's, it's insane. I don't even know how many videos are in there, but like over 30 videos that map out the process. And Patrick says, thanks for the presentation. I'm a future candidate and look forward to working. You look forward to working with you too. I appreciate that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Look, just because I'm done doesn't mean I'm done. If you have questions, give us a ring 877-600-2487 info at creditsuite.com. My goal is that you understand how we do what we do. So you can do it for your own business. If you want to improve your own fundability, get financing on your own and build business credit. Now you know how to. And if you're somebody like me that wants the faster path because you understand the value of your time, I've given you a fast path as well. And remember, never let the money be a factor of why we can't work together. We have a lot of stuff that's off off uh, website that's pricing options that aren't even available on our website. So if you like this and you want to work with us or work with me, then just give us a ring and we'll find a way to make it affordable for you. Okay. We do that with so many clients, but I can't fix a problem we don't know about. So if you're like, I want to get started, but I don't have 497 bucks a month, then give us a ring. Let's work out something customized for you or send us an email and we'll work out something customized for you and what you want that you might think you can't get now because you can't afford, you very well might be able to get. All you have to do is give us a ring at 877-600-2487. Carolina says, can you help us fund a bar and restaurant? Absolutely, we can. I've got a really cool story about a guy that tried to get $25,000 from his bank, 25 grand, retired police officer to open his bar. Bank wouldn't help him. We ha helped tap into a collateral-based program we had, and he got $750,000 approved to fund his bar. So needless to say, he's pretty happy, and he's doing really well last time I talk to him so we can definitely help with that. Um, okay. And I don't have any other questions. So I'm going to wrap up. Okay. If there's anything else that we can help and work with you on, give us a ring 877-600-2487. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in everybody. If you want the webinar special, mention this when you call, or you can get involved at creditsuite.com forward slash webinar. This goes through Friday at midnight, the special though, you can work with us anytime, but if you want all the bonuses, work the five grand, uh, the 90 days of credit monitoring, the $2,000 personal branding course, which is be brilliant. All my personal coaching clients I have go through that because it's brilliant. Uh, all those bonuses come. If you get started Friday by midnight, uh, this Friday, today I'm filming this, it's July 7th, then we will uh, be able to get you those bonuses as well. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thanks everybody. And, and AJ is reaching out today. Thanks AJ. I look forward to working with you. And uh, Brian says, looking to partner soon, interested in how white label works. We'll definitely talk to you more. So give us a ring to talk more, 877-600-2487. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Hope you all have a great day. If you missed this and you're on the webinar, we'll send you a replay. Uh, tomorrow and, or excuse me, tomorrow. Yeah. And then if you're on YouTube, Facebook or Periscope, when this stream is done, you can go back and play the stream in its entirety from the beginning. So thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks everybody.